Hi everyone and welcome to this video on an assessment of different reads. Um, I'm probably going to say more about my own personal observations at the end, but before I even start playing these reads, I want to give some disclaimers. One is that we all sound different. We all make everything sound different. And if you've been playing the saxophone for at least a couple of months, you've probably learned that every read plays different from each other, unfortunately, even the ones that are most consistent. So here's what I'm using. I have a Calworth SX90R black nickel plated, and I am using a Ponzel 100 M2, and it was opened up by John Yocum, uh, who at the time at least was in California. I was blessed to have purchased this from Peter Numer uh, several years ago, who is an excellent saxophone player. <clears throat> the reeds that I will be demonstrating to you are as a Hemke size 4, a Van Doren V16 3.5, a fiber cell size 5, and then another, another fiber cell size 5. Um, the reason I'm doing two of those is because I've been playing them both for a while. And one I consider a softer one, uh, and so there's a slight difference. Softer, I think, just by essence of how it started uh, changing a little bit as I was playing it more. And then also the new read I got, which is, uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Stewer. Jazz Alto size 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to give you uh, a consistent uh, comparison by playing a simple lick. Uh, I'll tell you first, I, I was playing on B16s for a long time and uh, I loved the sense of expression I could get out of it, the kind of sweet tone I was able to get out of it that I was used to developing out of it. Uh, but I had tried a fiber cell a long time before that and I felt like at first I didn't have uh, as much um, personal character in the sound, but when I went back to play it, I just couldn't avoid how well they played. Uh, when I blew air through them, they really let me, it's kind of like having a, a strong car, let me do more with it in a loud sense, but I had to learn how to tame it to try to get back to a sweeter tone. What I found is it works well for that kind of pop sound. So another disclaimer there then is I've been playing plastic reeds or fiber cell reeds for quite a long time. So I'm going to start with the new read I just got, which is the Stewer size 4. I'm just going to do a simple lick based off the key of A. Uh, any keys I mention, I'm referring to the key based off this E-flat alto saxophone. <clears throat> I'm trying to do this fast so you can hear the difference. Now here is a softer, what I'm calling a softer fiber cell size 5. Now I personally like harder reads um, because I feel like with my way of playing and sense of expression it gives me more room for versatility of expression. <laughs> Now I'm going to go to what I think is a harder plane. It's fiber cell size 5. Now to a V16, 3.5. Now I would say this one probably blows a little harder than most 3.5s. And this is also not broken in. Another disclaimer is I am blowing this off of an iPhone. But when I was testing this briefly before, I was pleasantly surprised with how little to no distortion actually showed up on, this, on the videos. Now here is a Hemke size 4. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try to do something, again I'm, every saxophone player is different, so I know this isn't the best comparison, but I'm going to do something in the key of C, C sharp and D on each. And I haven't practiced much with this reads to know what's really going to happen out of this.
the C one more time. If you notice, I was trying to do a, the multiphonic or the split tone on the high A. I've been used to use my mouth in the way on the fiber cells, so I'm not going to say it's a fair comparison there. <clears throat> Now to, but I'm calling a softer fiber cell size five. Now I'm only getting the uh, the ripping part, right? Now I'll try the the harder fiber cell. Note to self: before I play this weekend, I should get some new reads. At least until I decide for sure what I'm switching to. Harder fiber cell size five. <laughs> Some of you are laughing, that's all right. I'm gonna try this one more time. Now to the V16 three and a half. I'm gonna try to move fast here because I don't know how long the video YouTube will let me upload. <clears throat> Fast into the Hemke size four. Again, that Van Doren three and a half V16 is blowing hard. And I don't know if it's just because it's newer to me or if it's just a, a harder uh, read, particularly for the size three and a half. Usually, I'd probably get more of a clear, direct tone right away. <clears throat> Hemke size four. So my assessment, limited on only playing one read of each, and my personal taste, the way I use my mouth, my lungs, the mouthpiece ligature combination, see so it has, I don't know if that would be called a medium sized baffle in there, with the Oleg ligature, that definitely makes things play differently in the way that I personally like. My assessment is that these new Stewart reads to me play very well. Um, 
I'm probably gonna listen back to see which one sounds better over a recording. I'll come down here to this, to this cell phone here. The Hemkeys actually seem to have a very pleasant tone. I've played one before on this and this one plays better. So I'm gonna guess this main one's either just a better playing one or a little bit softer so I can get actually a clear tone out of it, not just something I feel like I'm fighting the whole time. The V16, there's a certain t uh, tone within it that I still really like. Um, but the reason, I, again, I switched to fiber cell in the first place was the ability to really pound out some notes on it um, and regarding the combination that I've been using. Again, it's a combination concept. You might like one read on another mouthpiece and not like it on another. Is that this, sorry, I've kind of in my sentence and interrupted myself, but I like how this one played. Uh, I think it's because it was harder. So it's something for me, as I'd probably consider trying out a size four, box of size four V16s. Um, the medium and, uh, or the, the fiber cell size fives, I still really like them. I've gotten used to expressing in a certain way on those. There's uh, the way we use our, our alternation of uh, tone and air support. I've gotten used to it on the fiber cell. I still really like it. But I would say that the stewards are a high contender and something that I should still consider. Again, I've only tried one, and there seems to be a lot that I could do with it. It lets, It's a pretty clear tone, uh, a bright focus tone, I should say. At least that's what it sounded like to me here. And it seemed to let me play it in, the, uh, in such a way that there's, that I, like the things I like about the fiber cell, I think I also could see possibly happening on this in some ways. But yet again, it is a different tone. So I'm gonna be listening to this myself. If you have favorites or any uh, comments, feel welcome to share. I'm gonna try to keep this uh, a kind of video that people can comment on. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.